Hello Sloppy Nation and welcome back to another paint booth class here. Thank you so much for all the love on the Mark Martin video. Uh, I am really happy with how that car came out. There was definitely a few things I wish I could have changed, but the feedback and the positivity you gave me was outstanding. So here we are with another one. And this one guys, I think is even better than the last one. Today's scheme once again is a throwback, but not just any throwback. This is a scheme that changed the NASCAR world and personally holds a special place in my heart as it is the scheme of my childhood hero, Jeff Gordon, the 24 Rainbow Warrior DuPont Chevrolet. Now, I know what y'all are thinking, Sloppy, how on earth are you going to make this 24 custom number and the DuPont? You're out of your freaking mind. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm not out of my mind. And we're going to make this scheme, and it's going to be beautiful. And hopefully by the end of this tutorial, you also can make your very own Jeff Gordon Rainbow Warrior DuPont Chevrolet. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. And right out the back, guys, go ahead and choose Chevrolet for that manufacturer. I wouldn't be caught dead driving a Jeff Gordon car if it was a Ford Toyota. You just simply can't do that. All right, now moving on to our paint color here. Jeff Gordon's DuPont car had a nice dark black. We're going to go look at that black. Uh, that Now, for the base paint for this DuPont scheme, we're going to go back to that navy blue that we used on the Mark Martin scheme. Except this time, we're going to go up one click here. And the more I'm looking at it, this is a very tough decision. The car really seems to have that old navy type of blue to it. But you don't ever want to go too crazy with the color. You don't want to make it too dark of a blue. But let's go ahead and use that same blue we used for the Mark Martin scheme. Jeff Gordon's side skirts on this car was always black, so we're gonna go with black for the side skirt. Spoiler will, for this one will be black as well. The roof rails are actually black as well, so this is actually turning out to be pretty simple here. Wheels are black. Now for the wheel stripe, on the scheme I'm looking at right now, it didn't have a wheel stripe, but for the colors to just kind of pop out more and everything, we're gonna go to a nice bright yellow to make that wheel really pop out. And for the paint gloss, you all know, we gotta make that thing look spicy. Put that thing up to like a 65, 67 gloss to really make that scheme shine. Now, let's go to the number. This very well may be the most important step in order to make this car look as real to the real thing. So when you go to your number, we're obviously gonna pick a 24. Let's go to our style here. We need to find a 24. That's gonna be very easy for us to put custom decals over to make this 24 possible. Now we're gonna use that trick that drive through taught me a while back to find a number that number one is slim, but also doesn't necessarily take up too much space. It won't be too hard to make or so. Right off the bat, I'm really liking this 24 because of the amount of room it takes up. It really doesn't take up too much room. So let's go with this 24. And I'll, I guess I'll call this, we'll call this the italic font. So go pick this one here. Go to the color of the number. Well, let's actually go to the personalized first. Go ahead and slant that about kind of like right there's yeah i'd say right there is pretty good shadow direction you're gonna move the shadow to zero on the x and y axis the outline thickness uh let's go down to a zero i know right now it's like that doesn't look like gordon's number trust me it's gonna it's gonna make a lot of perfect sense when we're go to the color right here number color itself jeff gordon's 24 was very very bright yellow uh, so we got to find a yellow that blends in perfectly. We are going to go with this yellow. So from the first column on the left, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then downwards, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That is going to be the yellow you're using for this number. Since we got the outline to zero, it doesn't really matter, but just go ahead and uh, put put the same yellow we used for that and the shadow color, and you can just go ahead and put yellow as well. That'll make things a whole lot simpler. Now, while we're at it, since we're on the numbers page already, let's go to that right side, and we're gonna slant this number back as much as you possibly can, all the way to the 40 degrees. For the roof rail itself, we don't really have to change anything about that. Number looks pretty good right there. Front bumper, the number was always slanted eh, a bit more. And eh, we actually kind of 
looks okay the way it is right there. So I guess we're okay. And the rear bumper, it looks perfect right there. Sweet. We're done with that number for now. While we're at it for the contingencies area, go ahead and choose the Rick Ware setting. And for this car as well, let's go to the, manu uh, the manufacturer decals. And for this one right here, Gordon had a uh, yellow Goodyear logo above the tire. So we're going to go yellow. And because the back of the car is red, I think the black, or well, this is more of a personal choice. If you want to go white, you can go white. If you want to go black, you can go black. But for the back of the car right here, I'm going to go with a white Camaro back. All right, now it is time to get to work. This is where the hard work comes in. Follow along, guys. Obviously, you know there will be some parts that are sped up, but those will be the parts that are very simple to follow. You just got mostly the base of the scheme is going to be a lot of circles, move them around, and just kind of fit. Use a reference picture of Gordon's car if you if it helps you out. That's what I'm personally using. It. So right here, guys, will be a part where we'll speed up the video. All you're going to be wanting to use here are circles. First column, third decal from left to right. And over here, what I'm personally going to do I am personally going to start from about the very end of the car. And for this color, we're going to go to the brightest red possible. Because DuPont colors back then were just bright red, bright everything. Go ahead and size that up. And just follow along with me and change the size of these circles to match up with the scheme. And I'll see you back for the next part. Alright, so our base scheme is finally done. Now let's go ahead and move on to the important part, which will be the custom decals and numbers. And since we are working on the logo, let's go ahead and get the DuPont logo out of the way. Alright, so pretty straightforward here. We already got a nice shape right here that can definitely do it, but there seems to be two pass-throughs right there. Those colors are just going to show. And if you ask me honestly, I think it's just a lot easier to go ahead and grab yourself a normal circle. Go ahead and change it to the color white because it's going to be your outline. And we're going to extend that as much as we can and move it up. This is where you're going to have to play around with it just a little bit. The white is definitely covering most of the red right there. It's covering all of it. There's no red that's kind of going through. So we're just going to have to bring this down a little bit until we find that right angle. Be good to go. Now we got the circle figured out, guys. This is where the text is going to get a little difficult here. So I'll go ahead and tell you right now as I'm going to speed through this a little bit. All it is is mostly squares with the sharp edges and squares with the round edges to make this work. Please pay attention to how when the DuPont is spelled out, usually the middle letters are taller than the other ones. So take note of that. Get through this. Pause if you need to. Let's make that DuPont logo. Thank you. 
All right, y'all, how does that DuPont logo look? If you ask me, pretty nice. I'm really happy with it. I see maybe like one thing or so I could edit just a teeny bit to make it better. This looks really, really nice. Now there is text that goes between the rainbow that says automotive finishes. Now I'm not gonna show that part in the video because I've already shown you guys how to do that. All you gotta do is use a bunch of squares. It's a very bold and easy text, so really is not hard whatsoever to do. All you gotta you all you gotta do is use normal squares and move it and follow the lettering. So let's move on to the most important part here. Let's finally make this custom 24. All right, y'all. We first look at this number and we're thinking, man, how are we gonna make this car? Well, guys. It's not as hard as you actually think. See, this number is actually made by a lot of just normal squares. The only thing you have to do other than adding those squares is a few little loops, a few little circles to get those little indents on the number. And other than that, it's it's not too complicated. So follow along with me here. This part's gonna be sped up a little bit, not too quickly, where you can pause and follow along with me. But let's go ahead and make this number. And once again, guys, for this number, go ahead and just use the normal squares here. There's no need to use the square with the round corners. This one will do you justice. Now, how am I gonna do this? As you can see, we made our number yellow. So what you want to go ahead and do right here is if, and this is your own personal choice, you can go ahead and just make it black so you can make the outline of the number, which honestly isn't a bad idea. Honestly, just go ahead and make it black kind of follow along to get that base pattern around the number. So go ahead and start with black, or you can start with yellow. Either or at the end, you should be able to meet up right with me at this custom twin.
And guys, finally, here it is, the 24 DuPont Chevrolet, the Rainbow Warrior car. Uh, this car is an absolute beauty. I'm so happy with how it came out, especially for it being uh, my favorite driver as well. You know, maybe I could make the base paint a tad bit more colorful, but I just know that dark navy blue separates the rest of the colors very well, but you're more than welcome to do whatever you want, guys. I didn't add the finishes for the text. It took a little too much time to do so, but you all know what the scheme is all about. And all you gotta do for the con uh, contingencies and the number guys is take the decals from the number, skew them on the right side, don't copy and paste it. And of course, just copy all the contingencies and paste it to the other side of your car. Look at the DuPont logo on the hood as well. It came out perfectly. I don't see anything else I could have done differently with that. Everything looks really nice on this car. I'm in love with it. I mean, just thank you all so much for watching this video. I'm so happy with this. If you guys have a recommendation for a paint scheme, please let me know in the comments section below. And I would be happy to uh, answer that and, and make those amazing paint schemes for you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. And I'll see you guys next time. Stay sloppy, everyone.